This is the circuit that I've put together to illustrate the use of the 748C238. It's a 3-line to 8-line decoder. Before we get started though, we better look at the data sheet. This is the data sheet for the 74HC238. It's a 3-line to 8-line decoder and it's typically used for applications such as memory chip select decoding. This particular decoder takes three weighted address inputs and these are labeled A0, A1 and A2 and provides us with eight mutually exclusive high outputs Y0 to Y7. We have to enable the chip to get it to work, uh, to behave as we would expect. And the way that we enable is through these three pins here, E1, E2 and E3. E1 and E2 are active low and that explains the bar over above. And E3 is active high. So every output, each of our eight outputs will be low unless E1 is set to low, E2 is set to low and E3 is set to high. This is a, a little bit of unusual, um, you may not expect it, but it, the reason for it is that it allows us to combine this particular decoder with three other decoders and a single inverter, and then it allows us to create a five line to 32 line decoder, which is par quite a powerful functionality. Um, there's some more data here about the chip in terms of its uh, power characteristics and so on. Um, we're more concerned at the moment with the fundamentals of the chip such as the pin configuration so here you can see we have three input here are three input pins on pins 1 2 and 3 these are a0 a1 a2 here's our enable pins there's the last output pin the eighth output pin and we've got our ground our vcc and here are our seven output pins the logic symbol for our our chip looks like this it's a little bit unusual you can see here that the enable this indicates that pin 4, if pin 4 is low, and if pin 5 is low, that's the inverter and invert symbol on the inputs, and pin 6 is high, the AND gate, so all those three conditions arise, well then the chip is enabled. And that's, that's, that's the way that the circuit works. So if we see a true table for this, we can see that, well, this is a good example of a function table. If E1, so E1 is active low, so if E1 is high, it means that it doesn't matter what the rest of the inputs are, all outputs, all eight outputs will be low. Similarly, E2 is active low, if E2 is high, well it doesn't matter what E1 or the other inputs are, all the outputs will be low. Similarly for E3, if E3 is low, well then all the outputs will be low. The only way that this chip uh, behaves as a three line to eight line decoder is when we have E1 set to low, E2 set to low, and E3 set to high. And you can see that the rest of the states that we're discussing here all have that characteristic. So once that characteristic is in place, you can see that then a varying inputs are A0, A1, and A2. When we vary those input values, you can see that we get a different uh, output state. So if we set A0, A1, and A2 to be low, you can see that pin Y0 is high and the rest of the pins are low. Similarly, A0 is high, A1 is low, A2 is low. In this case, our output pin is high and the rest are low. And if you go down all two to the three combinations, which is eight different possible combinations, you can see that we get then eight outputs, one high and exclusive high on each of the eight output pins. Now we'll look at the implementation of the three line to eight line decoder. Here I have my voltage regulator powering my ground rail and my VCC rail. I have three input switches in pull down configuration. I have my 74HC238. I have my eight LEDs connected by 100 ohm resistors. Uh, these are tied to the output pins of the, of the chip. Uh, they're a little bit messy, but just make sure the legs don't touch. I want to recycle these resistors. Here's the 74HC238. It's got 16 pins. Pin 7 is connected to ground. Pin 16 is connected to VCC. The first three inputs, A0, A1 and A2, are connected to the three inputs of the switches. 
Uh, my next three pins are E1, E2 and E3, my enable pins. Here you can see that E1 is tied to the ground pin, E2 is tied to the ground pin and E3 is tied to the high pin. So I have set up as required in the data sheet with E1 active low, E2 active low and E3 active high. These pins over here, these seven pins over here are the first seven outputs and the final output put is pin 7 of the chip and this is connected to the last LED. So let's connect the power and see if it works. So connect the power and you can see I have my little LED here to indicate that I have power to the circuit and you can see that when the tree, all three switches are depressed you can see that we're getting the first LED to light up. When I press the first, LED, the first button we see that well this lights up the second LED. Press the second button the third LED lights up Press the first two buttons at the same time, the fourth LED lights up. Press the last button on its own, you can see the fifth LED lights up. The last button plus the first button gives me the, the sixth LED. The last button plus the middle button gives me the seventh LED. And finally, all buttons together gives me the eighth LED. So these three inputs are giving me two to the power of three states, two to the power of three, two cubed is eight which gives me eight possible combinations of these three buttons and you can see that the purpose of the three line, three line to eight line decoder is that it takes these three possible com these three switches and these eight possible combinations and relate it then, relates it then to an individual LED. So an individual exclusive LED lights up for each one of the three possible input states.